today, we'll be testing out the D-Rose 3. We're testing out the performance materials used. You know, D-Rose is really an agile point guard. Loves to slash the basket. Loves to pull up at any given time. You know, really a strong crossover. So, we're just gonna warm up, see how these shoes cater to those types of moves. So, let's go. So overall man, the D-Rose 3 feels pretty good, it's a pretty good shoe. I was getting some great lift on my dunks, uh, some great ankle support on my crossovers. The only thing, beware, if you're one of those point guards who love to stretch out, you know, on your triple thread or, you know, making you move to the basket, you will feel a little slippage on the forefront of your shoe. Now that's only due to the grip technology of the shoe. It's nothing to do with heel slippage. The heel slippage is great, uh, you know, avoiding all that. It's just the grip is a little problem. Uh, so, you know, I'll get back to the studio and I can get back to you guys with my final conclusion over the D-Rose 3. So after playing several games, I genuinely feel like the D-Rose 3 is one of the best, you know, if not the best shoe out there right now for point guards. It's pretty damn close. Now, as you saw in the footage, uh, when I did each set of moves, I did them three times. The first time, you know, you saw me slip. So that's really the only gripe I have about this shoe. If you're a point guard who loves, you know, to get down low, really stretch your leg and stride it out, like myself, you will, you will like get that little grip slip. But you know, if you're not that type of point guard, you saw, you know, the second and third time uh, in each setup that, you know, I kind of tightened up my radius from my left foot to my right foot. So, you know, after that, I feel like there was glue on the bottom of my shoe. So, I mean, with that being said, if you're one of those guards who like to get down low, like I said, you will experience a little grip slip, but if you're not, you should be, I mean, these are excellent. So after that grip slip, I really have no complaints. This is, uh, like I said, one of the best shoes for point guards because of the lightweight, uh, flexible, and supportive material thrown into the shoe. It's great. It's a great combination. You can find the D-Rose at your local retail store for $160. I feel like the pricing is pretty fair considering that, you know, it performs well. Also, you know, one of the key goals, like I said, it was to make it an on and off the court type of shoe. And to be quite honest, you know, I'm not that big of a fan of Adidas just because, you know, I've never liked the designs they went with. And it's kind of hard with the logo to kind of just incorporate that into, you know, a nice design. So I kind of, I understand it, but you know, with jeans, it actually doesn't look that bad to be honest. You know, you won't find me rocking it, but you know, I, I, I won't knock you if you're rocking these with jeans, especially like when you saw the back, you know, that, that looked pretty decent to me, even the side view. So, you know, 160 seems pretty fair to me. You get a good deal on and off the court type of shoe. So to get a good look at the D-Rose 3, make sure you go check out uh, the D-Rose detailed look video on Kick Genius' YouTube channel. You know, the link will be in the description. It's Kick Genius. Yeah.